Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing a linear equation in two variables and this is the lecture number 7. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 6 before watching this part 7. In this lecture, I am going to discuss the uh, elimination method of solving linear uh, equation of two variables. So, the topic is today which is going to discuss that is called elimination method. Elimination method. Okay. And uh, there is a elimination means what? Eliminate one variable in terms of other. And to make elimination, the coefficients of two variables should be uh, equal. And let us discuss some questions and on the basis of questions we will discuss there is no theory at all. This is just uh, the way in how to deal with these questions. So here is some questions. We are going to discuss exercise. Exercise uh, this is 3.3. Right. So the first question which is given here is solve the following pair of linear equation. Solve the following pair of linear equation. Pairs of linear equation. Pair of linear equation. Pair of linear equation. By the elimination method. By the elimination method. Elimination method and uh, substitution method and substitution method means there are two methods. Uh, each question to be solved by two method. So the very first question uh, is given as that is given x plus y is equal to five. This is the first one and second equation is given as 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. This is the second equation. And these are the two equations which is given. Now we have to find elimination method. So first uh, let me discuss elimination method. Uh, Elimination method. What is that? To eliminate one of the variable, either you may equate the coefficient of x or coefficient of y. So to make coefficient of uh, y equal, you should multiply this first equation by three. So if I multiply the first equation by three, then that would be three x plus three y, and coefficient of y would be equal. So multiplying multiplying first by 3 we have what will be that in that case that will be 3x plus 3y is equal to 15 and second equation was 2x minus 3y is equal to 4 now since they have opposite signs so adding them on adding these two will cancel and 3x plus 2x is 5x. 15 plus 4 is 19 and therefore x is equal to 19 by 5. Now putting the value of x in any one of them from first, from first x plus y is equal to 5. If I have put 19 by 5 plus y is equal to 5. So y is equal to 5 minus 19 by 5, that is 6 by 5. So there are two answers. One is um, x is 19 by 5 and y is 6 by 5. Now uh, the, we have to solve this by substitution method also. Substitution method. So although we had uh, discussed a lot of questions in the previous exercise, but still because this is the demand of the question so I have to deal with uh, this again. So x plus y is equal to 5 given and therefore this can be written as y is equal to 
phi minus x. Y is expressed in terms of x. Now second equation is 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. So putting the value of y in second we have now putting the value of y the value of y in equation second in equation second we have we have 2x minus 3 y is 5 minus x that is 4. So that would be 2x minus 15 plus 3x is equal to 4. And this employee 3x plus 2x is 5x and 15 will come this side it will be 19. And therefore x is equal to 19 by 5. Now from first y is 5 minus x from first y is 5 minus x and this is equal to 5 minus 19 by 5, 5 by 4, 25 minus 19 by 5 and what is that 6 by 5. So again the same answers came here and that is x is equal to 19 by 5 and y is equal to 6 by 5. So these are the two answers of the question. I, I think you got it. Now, the second question of this category is, second question is given 3x, 3x plus 4y is equal to 10 and uh, 2x minus 2y is equal to 2x minus 2y is equal to So, these are two equations. If I want to make coefficient of y equal, then second equation to be multiplied by 2. So multiply, multiply equation 2, equation second by 2, we have, what will happen? First equation A y is 3x plus 4y is equal to 10 and second equation if multiply by 2, it will be 4x minus 4y is equal to 2 to the 4, 2 multiply by 2 will be so we can write it for now because they are opposite signs so on adding on adding uh, this will be cancels out so 4x plus 3x is 7x and 10 plus 4 is 14 so 7x is equal to 14 so clearly we can write x is equal to 14 by 7 that is 2 now using this fact uh, we can put anyway so from first we can use it 3x minus 4y is equal to 10, 3 into 2 minus 4y is equal to 10, so that will be 6 minus 4y is equal to 10 and therefore uh, 6 minus 10 is equal to 4y and minus 4 is equal to 4y and therefore y is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1. 3x plus 4y this much. So it will be yeah. the things will be like that because of the sign change. So there will be change. So 4y is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1. So x is equal to what has come? x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. This is the solution. Now uh, we are looking for substitution method. Substitution method. method. Right? Substitution method. And in this method, I have to deal with uh, these two equations again. And what are those two equations? 3x plus 4y is equal to 10. First equation was 3x plus 4y is equal to 10. And the second equation was um, 2x minus 2y is equal to 2. 
टू एक्स माइनस टू वाई इक्वल टू टू वाई इक्वल टू टू दिस बाय द सेकंड सो फ्रॉम सेकंड क्वेश्चन वी कैन राइट टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस टू वाई एंड देयरफॉर एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस वाई दिस इज थर्ड नाउ पुटिंग दिस इन फर्स्ट substituting taking the value of the value of x in equation 1 equation 1 we have we get 3 times of 1 plus y plus 4y is equal to x That would be three plus three y plus four y is equal to ten. So this employee seven y is equal to three will come this side. It will be ten minus three that is seven, and therefore y is equal to one. So y is equal to one. Now from third, from third equation x is equal to one plus y that is one plus one which is two. So here the answer is x is equal to two, y is equal to one. The same answer. So we can do like this: x is equal to two and y is equal to one. That will be the solution of the question. I got hmm? the same one. Now um, third equation is third answer. We are looking for a third question, and that is. Three x minus five y is equal to four, and nine x is equal to two y plus seven. This is second equation. So by method of elimination, um, this can be rewritten as nine x minus two y. Nine x minus two y is equal to seven. Okay. So, if you want to make coefficient of x same, because three can be multiplied by three and it will be nine. Otherwise, uh, both the equation will be multiplied. So, multiply first one by three. Multiply, multiply, multiply equation one by three. We get. We get three multiplied. This to be multiplied by three, and that will be nine x minus fifteen y is equal to twelve. And the second one is nine x minus two y is equal to seven. So both have the same sign. In case both the equations have same sign, you need to change the sign because after subtracting there will be minus, that will be plus, and there will be minus. So on subtracting, on subtracting, subtract, subtract, subtracting, sign will change. Nine x and nine x cancel. Now minus fifteen y plus two y is minus thirteen y, and twelve minus seven is five. In that case, y is equal to minus five by thirteen. So putting the value of in in one, we get what is the one equation? Three x minus five y is equal to four. Three x minus five y is equal to four. Three x minus five y is equal to four. So we can write it three x minus five into y is minus five by thirteen is equal to four. So that will be twenty-five by thirteen is equal to four. And now three x therefore three x is equal to four minus twenty-five by thirteen, and that is twenty-seven by thirteen. Thirteen four is a fifty-two minus this, and therefore x is equal to three will come here this side and it will divide so nine is a twenty-seven nine by thirteen. So answers came here. Uh, one is x is equal to nine by thirteen, and y is equal to minus five by thirteen. 
these are two answers and you will be able to write this answer. Okay. Now by substitution method. This was elimination method. You are getting this because I have eliminated x and x. So that is by elimination method. Elimination method. Elimination method. Like this. You know. Now substitution method. The next one is substitution method. So let us write here substitution method and in this method what to deal with the C. So the question is uh, it's given like 3x minus 5y is equal to 4. 3x minus 5y is equal to 4. This was the first equation and second equation was 9x minus 2y. 9x is equal to 2y plus 7. 9x is equal to 2y plus 7. So from second, this was second, I can write from second x is equal to 2y plus 7 by 9. Right now, say this is third. So putting the substituting the substituting. The value of x, value of x in equation 1, equation 1, we get. What we will get? We will get here that uh, 3 into 2y plus 7 by 9 minus 5y is equal to 4. So, 3, 3 is a 9 and that will be 2y plus 7 by 3 minus 5y is equal to 4. If I will take LCM, then what will happen? That will be 2y plus 7 minus 15y whole divided by 3 and that 3 will come this side, it will be 12. And therefore, it will be 2y minus 15y minus 13y and 7 will come this side, it will be minus 5. And therefore, y is equal to minus 5 by 30. And from first second, if we we'll put this value in third equation, so from third, x is equal to 2 into minus 5 by 13 plus 7 whole divided by whole divided by what is that? 9. So that comes minus 10 and 13, 7 is 91, 91 minus 10, 81 by 13. So, 81 by 13 into 9, 9, 9 is 81, so that would be 9 by 13. So, x is equal to, therefore, x is equal to 9 by 13 and y is equal to minus 5 by 13. This is what we comes here. So, by substitution method or elimination method, you can use any one of them and I think there is no problem. You can use any one of them and definitely you will be able to get the answers. Now, the next uh, fourth question is there, question number four. And this question is given like x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1 and x minus y by 3 is equal to 3. These are the two equations. So, first time um, solving this question by elimination method. Elimination method. So, elimination method either you have to equate x or y. So, which one is easier? Um, this is y by 3. If I multiply by 2, that will be 2y by 3. So, multiply second equation by 2. Multiply second equation by 2. So, we can write x minus y by 3 is equal to 3. This is the second equation. And x by 2 minus plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1. That was the first. So, multiply second by 2. 
what I am doing here multiplying second by 2. So what will happen? In that case that will be 2x minus 2y by 3 is equal to 6 and x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1. If I add them because they have a positive sign add them then they will be cancelled out. So on adding 2x plus x by 2 is 5x by 2 and that is equal to 6 minus 1 is 5 and therefore x is equal to 5 5 cancel x is equal to 2. Now substituting this from x is equal to 2 from second it will put uh, the value of x that is 2 minus y by 3 is equal to 3 and y by 3 is equal to 2 minus 3. This will come this side it will be positive and 3 will come this side. Okay. So y by 3 is equal to minus 1 and therefore y is equal to minus 3. So solution is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 3. This is the solution what we have obtained by elimination. Right? Now, this is the solution. Okay. Now, we are looking for elimination method. So, substitution method. Substitution method. So, in that case, what will happen if we are looking for substitution method? Then it will be happen like substitution. Okay. And this is substitution. In first equation was given like uh, x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1, and second one is x is equal to 3 plus y by 3. So from second from second it is given that x minus y by 3 is equal to 3 and this was the second and the first one was x by 2 plus 2y by 3 x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1 isn't it that is what given minus 1 so So from second, from second we can write x is equal to 3 plus y by 3, isn't it? This is set to be third. Now putting the value of x in first, substituting the value of value of x in first we get what we get in that 1 by 2 3 plus 5 by 3 2 by 3 is equal to minus 1 and uh, because x is equal to 3 plus y by 3 and here is x by 2 so i have written 1 by 2 3 plus 5 by 3 and that one is 2 y by 3 is equal to minus 1 so 1 by 2 multiply with 3 3 by 2 and y by 3 multiply with 2 is y by 6 plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1. Now we can write it like uh, y by 3 is so LCM is 6 that is 6 which employs 6, 2 and 3 and 6 LCM is 6 so y plus and 3 to the 6 2 to the 4 y and that will be minus 1 minus 3 by 2. So, simultaneously it will be 5y by 6 is equal to minus 5 by 6. 5, 5 cancel, 6, 6 cancel. So, y is equal to what? y is equal to minus 1. And from third, from third, x is equal to 3 plus y by 3. That is, x is equal to 3 plus y by 3. So, 
so we must take a uh, this is minus 5 by 2 only right? so that will be minus 5 by 2 and 2 cancel this 3 times so y is equal to minus 3 y is equal to minus 3 will come so if i'll put y is equal to minus 3 it will be minus 3 divided by 3 that is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and therefore x is 2 and y is y is minus 3 that will be the answer so in substitution method you can also do the same thing using the fact that your answer should come like uh, uh, the answer will come x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. same answer will come and uh, that will be the answer of this question. I hope you got it and uh, some language problem are also there. So, we will discuss in the after the break and uh, till then if you just revise it. We will discuss some questions which is language based in upcoming session. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless.